how do you select an architect? First thing is, is he providing a pre-construction planning consultation? Because that's where you're going to take all of your questions. I want to build this. This is my piece of property. What do you think? What does my budget look like? And that's where, you know, the, the, uh, the whole thing comes together and Mr. Client, uh, you can do this. Or Mr. Client, you know, the property is not big enough for what you want to build. Or the property is not oriented properly for what you want. Or your budget uh, doesn't include this and this and so forth. So that's what first thing to do. You want to be comfortable working with that architect, that you have a good relationship and you communicate and he communicates well with you. Because if you don't have that, uh, you're going to wind up with a, uh, a situation which in the final analysis is not going to be one that works well for you. Uh, you want a, a, an architect that has experience with green initiatives, including his consultants. They should be experienced at this as well. So my civil engineer, my mechanical engineer, plumbing, electric, and so forth uh, should have the background for green initiatives because when I ask for a right-sized piece of equipment, I don't want my mechanical engineer to say, what? What does that mean? So we want to have all of our team players working with us. Very important, you need an architect that's going to listen to your needs, your future plans. And um, if you have a vision, you want that architect to understand what that vision is. That's the communication and also is the, the expertise of that architect to take that vision with his passion and put it into a successful project. What should you expect? Well, your building must meet that functionality that you requested and your expectations must be met. So there's a, a few things that you're looking for, expansion capabilities of the completed project. If you have a warehouse or an office building and part of the program is in five years, I'm expecting that I want to increase the number of offices and so forth. Um, and suddenly you find out five years later that you do not have the land or the capabilities in the back of the building or so to, to, to increase that building size, you may have a problem. Remember, when you hire an architect, you only have two out of the three. You can have cheap and good, but it can't be fast. You can have good and fast, but it can't be cheap. You can have fast and cheap, but it's not going to be good. So when we look at those three things, cheap, good, and fast, you generally wind up with two of them. As much as we try, as an architectural firm, you need to have everybody on the same page as to what to expect. 